Hey y'all, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video, we are gonna be building a desert inspired city. So a really cool trick to kind of give this more of a city core effect, we're gonna be replacing our player home with the new desert house. Once we do that, we will be able to place a secondary skin on our biome. Unfortunately, we cannot place more than two structures at a time, which I hope they change in the future. But regardless, having two of the same skins placed and rotated differently will still achieve the city core effect that I'm hoping for. Now, I do want to disclaim, I am not the first person to discover the secondary skin trick. It's been done by many people, so I'm not sure who originally found this out, but I'm really excited to put this trick to use in today's speed build. Also, as we get started today, I'd appreciate if you'd hit that like, subscribe, and notify button. If you want to see more content like this in the future, it really does help me out. Now that I got my two home structures done and kind of a general layout, we're going to go ahead and start adding a market area to our city and I've actually done a market sort of like this already on my main valley but we're going to try to improve it today if you're interested in seeing this speed build it'll be linked in the video's description we did this a few weeks ago and I really liked how it turned out but I'm excited to add this also to Eternity Isle and also just a better version of it also since this is really close to my Prince Eric build I'm going to use the same Dazzle Beach pathing if you're interested also in that video I will have it linked in the description too but I want all of my desert biomes to kind of match as like one giant city location so I'll start adding more city core elements below this build later in the coming days but I want to keep a similar mood board in each location on this biome just in general anyways I'm really excited with how much progress I've already made in the desert biome I feel like each location in this whole entire part of the attorney isle map is really hard to decorate and there's so many small spaces Faces. So for me personally, I just feel like the desert has been extremely difficult to decorate in. It's honestly just been really hard to plan builds and figure out what I want to do with each location. Anyways, now that I have pretty much all the stalls placed in my ideal placement, we're going to add a cute little blue tent behind this red stall. And I think for this first stall, we're going to do like a little clothing boutique. And then across from it, I might do something with plants or pottery. I'm not quite sure. And of course, just like my beach market video, I may be using the Encanto items again, just because it gives the market such a great pop of color. And I think I'm also going to do a bunch of illumination throughout the market too. But so far, I am really enjoying the structure of this build, even though we still got a ways to go and more tents to add to. For the next stage of my desert town, I'm going to go ahead and extend the Dazzle Peach pathing out just a little bit. We're also going to be using some of the new tropical planks that you can craft underneath some of our tents too. And I'm also going to use them for a different transitional spots just to kind of like break up some of this pathing because I don't want to just use one type of pathing throughout the whole entire build. I'm absolutely obsessed with these new tropical planks that we just got but I do wish they came in different colors like it would have been nice to see maybe a dark brown shade and even an off-white color so I hope to see maybe some form of customization in a future update but I am very bummed about this because I think using a different shade would make them stand out even more in our desert city but they're still a really great item to use, especially if you're wanting to kind of add different textures throughout your builds. And just like my other builds that you see on my channel, I want this to be functional as possible. So I'm going to use these planks to kind of highlight where the different transitional areas are, especially if you're like me, I still get lost in Eternity Isle. So having these highlighted are going to make things way easier for me. But once I get these mapped out, then we'll start adding some more details and different stalls throughout our market. So for the next stage of my build, we're going to add a additional stall on the outside of this house skin just to kind of give our market a little bit more dimension. That way everything's not the same structure throughout the entire build. I'm also going to detail with some of the new plants that we can harvest just to kind of give a different pop of color throughout the build. So I'm going to place these randomly over here until I can find a ideal location for them. I went ahead and added some palm trees throughout the entire build and we're just going to go ahead and start adding some details to each stall location. I think by this blue stall all, I'm going to change the picnic blanket out to maybe something more restaurant like so eventually I will be swapping this out but I do think the blankets make such a great addition to builds like this so I will definitely be using it just in a different spot. The next thing I really want to make sure that this build has is some more illumination. I'm also going to be incorporating some of the purple banner items into this build too. I really wish we had some form of party light arches as I think that this would be absolutely stunning in a desert market sort of 
look. So I am manifesting that we get party light arches at some point in a future update. Before I continue adding some lanterns throughout the build, I did want to add a few more details to my little clothing boutique. And just like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be swapping out this picnic blanket for the restaurant look instead. Once I change out some of the decor in some of these stalls, then we're going to go ahead and place a gazebo down. I think this will help break up some of the tent repetitiveness and also just add a really nice additional look to our entire build. And next, I'm going to go ahead and add some purple banners and also kind of frame them in with the lanterns to add some sort of illumination in the middle of my market. I just thought these banners were such a great addition because it made the build feel a little bit more full, but also not too cluttered too. And just like I mentioned earlier in this build, we're going to go ahead and place a gazebo down. I also added a additional blue stall to it. I think for the gazebo decor, I'm probably just going to use the Rapunzel blanket with the pillows just because it'll add some more blanket like clutter to my market. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and continue to add details where I see are needed throughout each stall too. I also was testing out these glowy palm tree items throughout my build and I wasn't sure if I liked them or not, but I did like that they complemented some of the color palette throughout the build. I wasn't sure how I felt about them, so y'all let me know in the comment section if you think they're a great addition to this build, but I ended up just swapping them out for some regular trees instead. Anyways, now that I have most of my market clutter done, I'm gonna go ahead and just add some details behind the buildings, but I'm also gonna decorate in front of these homes too. And I think in front of each home skin, I'm just gonna keep it rather simple. So I think for the next stage of my build, I'm just gonna detail with some different underbrush items just to kind of fill in in front of the house skins a little bit more. So after I place the underbrush and also add some additional details to this location, then we'll do the final walkthrough of how my entire desert town turned out. Anyways, after I add these final details, then we'll do the final walkthrough of how our desert town and market turned out in today's speed build. I really do hope it brings you some Disney Dream My Valley inspiration. Let me know if you plan to do this on your valley in the comment section below. Before today's video, also ends, I do want to give a huge shout out to all of my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me as a creator. Just your support in general means the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Have a horrible day and see you very soon.